The median nerve originates from the brachial plexus. Unlike other main nerves of the upper limb, it is formed by the union of two cords, the lateral root of the lateral cord and the medial root of the medial cord. Its initial path down the arm is lateral to the brachial artery, eventually crossing it to become medial to it, finally passing anterior to the medial epicondyle. Its whole path in the arm is in the anterior compartment, with muscles such as the biceps brachii. In the proximal forearm, the anterior interosseous branch branches off and descends to the interosseous membrane, supplying the flexor pollicis longus, the lateral half of the flexor digitorum profundus, and the pronator quadratus. Other muscles in the anterior compartment are supplied by branches of the main median nerve that are given off proximal to the anterior interosseous branch. These include the pronator teres, the flexor carpi radialis, the palmaris longus, and the flexor digitorum superficialis. As the median nerve travels down the wrist, a sensory branch called the palmar branch exits proximal to the wrist to supply the skin in the palm. It does not travel under the flexor retinaculum. The main median nerve continues to the hand by traveling under the flexor retinaculum, which is a tight space that also contains the tendons for the flexor digitorum profundus and superficialis and the tendons for the flexor pollicis longus. In the hand, the median nerve supplies motor innervation to the first and second lumbricals, the flexor pollicis brevis, the abductor pollicis, and the opponens pollicis. There is also sensory innervation to the palmar side of the fingers, specifically the radial three and a half digits. It also supplies the most distal ends of the dorsal side of those fingers.